everyone, welcome back to Auto House Naples. I'm Haley and today we have a gorgeous Mustang for everyone. But before we get into that, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, make sure and check out our website, autohousenaples.com for all of our current inventory, more information on this Mustang, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to turn the notifications on. All right, so what we have today is a really gorgeous third generation Mustang. This is a 1990 Ford Mustang GT. This is the Fox body Mustang and it's one of the really great looking um, Mustangs that Ford ever came out with. This one's finished in a bright red exterior. It's a beautiful color on this car. The bright red pops and then you can see a little glimmer of that white interior, that Oxford white leather seating really great condition so this one is a third generation one of the biggest changes you'll notice is um, with those headlights so it is the third generation which was from 1979 to 1993 but the 79 to 86 cars had a quad headlight arrangement very different look than the front of this car so on this one, you're going to have from 87 to 93, all those cars have these aerodynamic composite headlights. These ones in particular are in really great shape. They're not um, foggy or hazed or anything like that. Down below that, you're gonna also have your circular round fog light. So the, the facelift that happened in 87, that's gonna give you these new, these GT models had the round fog lamps and also the um, body colored, uh, what do you call it? Side skirting all around the car. So that was kind of a big change and it looks really nice overall in the car. These GTs, I think they look better than the, uh, what was the other one, like LX or something like that. So over here, you're also gonna have these really nice 15 inch turbine wheels. These ones are in really great shape. You've got Ford on them. And then you're going to have really nice BFG tires on here as well. These ones are going to be P23560R15s. So you've got the really nice 15 inch wheels, the factory ones, which is really nice to have with the car really great shape. Over here you're going to have your 5.0 badging, a little sneak peek to the engine. Um, down below on your side skirting you're going to have your Mustang GT kind of engraved in there. That looks really nice. I love the look of the side skirting all around the car versus uh, if you look at just like, I think it's the LX model, I'm blanking right now, but that one it just adds so much. It doesn't even look like the same car anymore. You've got a lot of great lines on the car because of that side skirting on the interior I, this is one of my favorite interior combos you've got the oxford white paired with the red interior and then you've got some black accents throughout one thing that's really nice is we've got all weather mats in here really great condition and I love that it brings in the, you know, the red from the exterior with the pop of white. Really great condition overall. I love the back seats. You've got ample space back there. Seats are in really great condition. Really just love these cars. And as you saw, we got a power convertible top. That's always nice, very handy. So over here, again, you're gonna have the same 15 inch wheels on the rear. These tires are going to be P23560 R15s, same as the front, but they're in really great shape. It's so crazy that this car is what now? 32 years old and it's just an amazing shape. Another thing that happened with that facelift is you're going to get these body colored uh, louvers covering the rear tail lights. Those are in really great shape as well. And it's just kind of added. That was only for the GT models. So that's how you would know, you know, one way to differentiate the two besides the fact that they look completely different. One thing that's really nice is you got your original, um, 
what would you call it, dealership badging. So kind of neat that they still have that on there. And then we can pop the trunk. Really great space in here. You're going to have your um, boot cover. Jeez, feeling like a blonde today. And you also have a front plate if your state needs that. But the space in the trunk is very ample. You've got a lot of great space in here. The carpeting's in really great condition. Really great shape overall. I can't believe the carpeting's in that great of shape. And then right here too, you do have your luggage rack if you wanted to utilize that. I'm not even, I don't know how much I would trust the luggage rack. I just like it for looks, maybe more than anything. But overall, the shape of it's really good. Oh, great, it's raining. I have had the worst luck with cars lately. Someone's working against me. Um, one other neat little thing about the third generation Mustang. By the mid 80s, the sales were kind of slowing down. And so Ford was a little worried that the Mustang was losing its place in the market. They announced that they would replace the rear wheel drive Mustang with a Mazda derived front wheel drive version. All the Mustang fans, sounds like they were kind of pissed, they sent Mustang hundreds of thousands of letters asking them to continue production of the rear wheel Mustang. And then obviously Ford uh, took that uh, to heart and realized they should keep that version. So obviously we still have the rear wheel drive Mustang. I believe they used the front wheel drive for the Ford Probe something like that but kind of neat that they actually listen to people instead of just doing whatever they wanted so that's kind of neat let's pop the hood and then we can check out the engine It's a really great engine. You're gonna have a five liter V8. This one, like, it's in incredible condition. I mean, if you just look under the hood, it's really been super well maintained. I can't believe how clean it is underneath the hood for being, you know, a little over 30 years old. It's gonna have 225 horsepower, zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds, and a top speed of 145. One thing I also like down here is you do have a lot of your original stickers. I always think it's really neat when you have an older car that has those original stickers on it. It's just really neat to see in its authentic state. Oh, the rain's coming down. Gosh. Look out today. Working against the forces. So on the interior, let me hop in here. Let's put the top up first because I have a feeling we're about to get drunk. on the side steering wheel is in fantastic condition you've got I like these little horn buttons cute um, you've got your cruise control right there on the side a lot of different buttons right there I should probably close this door oh my gosh working against me your convertible top buttons in a little interesting spot you've got it right up there we've got vents and I like this new designed dash the 
used for this car as well. I like this little spot right here if you want to put something. And my favorite thing is the 25 years little badging. 25 years of Mustang and that's the only little emblem they put on the whole car. But any car from I think April of 1989 to all the 1990 Mustangs, they got that little plaque which is neat. You've got your glove box and then you got a trunk release as well. Oh my gosh, the rain's really coming down. I'm in trouble. Sorry, gotta hurry this up. We've got our um, temperature settings right there. We've got our cassette, all our volume settings. It is a five speed manual, so we've got that. Parking brake, adjustable side mirrors. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh my lord. Outrun the rain. Make sure and check out this awesome Mustang on our website, autohusnaples.com, and let us help you drive your dream.